Hello, Shirley here and welcome to my How to Work with Crystal series. And today I want to talk about Rose Quartz. That's a beautiful piece of Rose Quartz. Now the Rose Quartz I'm working in is a Madagascar Rose Quartz. It's a bit more expensive than the usual uh, Rose Quartz specimen that you can find at the stores. And I think it's a bit harder to get. This, this is Rose Quartz found in Madagascar. The reason I'm working with this Rose Quartz is because it's quite strong and I feel it immediately and I get very quick results working with this. Um, being a heart chakra stone, it's a lot more aggressive than people may think that it is. It brings everything up to the surface. This is a heart chakra stone. Put it on your heart chakra, but it balances, um, it sends the energy to all the chakras. And that's to do with the heart property, because the heart is a very main uh, organ in our body and it sends the energy of love when it is healthy throughout the body to purify the system. So it's a very important uh, center to work with in the chakras when you want to purify the whole body and also dissolve, indirectly dissolve any blockages you may have uh, or any imbalances you may have in your other chakras. So um, Rose Quartz is a heart chakra stone. You can also put it on other chakras to balance them because it just purifies the body with the frequencies of love. I use it to work whenever, I, I just hold it every day. I use it to connect with my heart. I use it to get into the heart space, the love space when I want to create every morning. I'm going to lie down with this on my heart chakra and sometimes I'm going to channel with the kunzite on my third eye chakra. And if you want to know more about the kunzite, then I'll put the link down below to the video talking about kunzite anxiety is for channeling and rose quartz is for healing healing all kinds of heart issues and heart issues are also at um, their underlying mood disorders they may underline impulsivity anxiety uh, self-worth issues and all the behaviors that um, that manifest in our lives. They can be um, excessive shopping, addictions, um, emotional eating, unhealthy relationships. Um, this stone, of course, is, is not a therapist, but it is a tiny therapist if you know how to work with it, because it's going to bring up everything that you need to face and process. And it's also going to do it in a way that you have the love frequency space to hold in order to actually heal. So love is just a purifier, it's a cleanser. And that's exactly how I use the rose quartz. I use the Madagascar rose quartz. So it's not the common rose quartz that, um, that you may know. I often hold it in my hand. You can put it on your heart chakra. I suggest you to begin to work with each crystal in itself to get to know the energy and also to put it aside if you feel like you need rest from it to get to know the feel of your energy. It's considered a feminine energy stone but also um, tuning the yin yang balance around the body. So. I would say it's, it probably works on balancing yin and yin holds yang. So, but it can be, some people relate rose cross actually to fire, perhaps because of the deeper red shades. So I experience it as a combination of fire and water. It also raises sensuality and sexuality from the heart. So this is a heart-based sexuality. Um, because it is life force and love force so it can bring you a bit more energy to create 
I love using it before I create stuff and a lot of what I post on my Instagram you can check me out on Instagram a lot of the inspiration a lot of the channeling I post is also after using rose quartz to come back to my heart I use it also to decide on what videos I want to post here also what do I want to post on my Facebook group that's manifestation tips that really work so if you're interested in manifestations a very good stone to work with because it combines the energy that attracts things and it also gives you the energy to take action from an inspired place from the heart place so I would say that your heart knows and your heart is brave but you need to relax into your heart and this stone really helps you in relaxing into your heart so let me know what you think about rose quartz if you have worked with rose quartz if you know the Madagascar ones uh, let me know about your experience again I'm referring to my own experiences not to what you'd find on Google or um, other websites that describe how to work with crystals but genuinely an empiric data of what is my uh, experiences rather than a general mind-based data so let me know what your experience is do attune to it and do let it hold something special for you and also if you want to know how to manifest this stone into your life and how to use it in manifestation check out my manifestation clips here on this channel so that will help you uh, with this if you want to know more about crystals how to work with crystals if you want more tips about manifestations if you want to hear my channeling that I received while working with the kunzite and other crystals let me know in the comments down below what are you interested in and of the things that I'm passionate about I'm going to share um, the topics you ask for first so thank you for tuning in and hope to see you again in my channel. Click subscribe, you can find me on Instagram, find me on Facebook and make sure you click the notification button if you subscribe to this channel so you can actually get notified when I upload a new video.